I'm not paying you to undo it. Hey YouTubers, so it's March 23rd, it's Wednesday. Uh, the trailer was taken into the shop on Saturday um, for its appointment on Monday. Um, they haven't really started looking at it just because I gave them the flexibility to work around it if they cut me a little bit of a deal on the bill later. So um, they're getting to it as they have time. Um, this coming weekend's a long weekend, so they're getting some RVs in for, you know, Small issues like people want to go camping on the weekend and uh, they realize that their furnace doesn't work. So he said they're they're pre pretty hopping in there right now. Um, so it's in. And the next bunch of video for the next segment of Vintage Trailer Happiness spans, I think, two weekends, a uh, weeknight, and then Saturday just before I took it in. So I cleaned it up and kind of got rid of... Uh, some of the garbage and you know got it tidied up to take it in so that they could uh, work around in it without too much hassle so that said um, I'm just gonna let that roll and uh, you guys can see where we're where we're at um, and technically that's where we're at because I'm waiting just as much as you are now for the next one so uh, so yeah there you go um, welcome to real time almost the videos will be delayed a little bit, but not by weeks. All right. Um, so here you go. Cheers. Hey, friends. So it's Sunday, March 6th, somewhere around there, that weekend anyway. Um, been doing some small things on here. I didn't turn the camera on yesterday because... I was having some trouble, um, basically just not in the mood to be half ass builder and um, the other side of my brain was telling me that I had to get stuff done. So yeah, it was one of those days. But anyway, so it's Sunday today, um, got a few little things on the go. Uh, I'm going to show you this one because it's probably something that happens to vintage tra trailers quite a bit, is the storage doors. So this door I've taken off, actually when I open it, it falls off because the bottom of it, as you can see, is rotten. So I've got a new piece of that, which I have to coat in a primer so it doesn't soak up moisture. And then it will replace this. So one thing I'm finding out about these old trailers is when you're going to fix something or replace something, you think you're getting close to a certain stage. There's always one more thing. So now I got to go and pull all these little staples out because I thought the tin was just held in with the brackets, these brackets down here, but they're not. It's all stapled in there. So here's an update on the door. It's a little tricky, but it's in, and it's locked, and it's latched. Uh, getting that bottom brace on was a bit of a hassle. Um, I didn't record it, just because I was trying, I'm trying to get as much done today before it gets dark. Now I know that I promised at the end of the last video that I'd reveal the front section that I've been working on for so long. Well, I'm not going to leave you hanging anymore. I know we were just waiting on pins and needles to see the extraordinary job. Yeah, okay. I'll show you how it turned out. It's getting dark, so hopefully this uh, looks all right. And don't mind the mess on the floor. Those curtains have come in handy as rags, so I've been keeping them around. But, yeah, it's a mess in here, except for this, which is finally finished. And I got my iMac door done there on the right. And a couple of my crates and stuff are put up back here. And that's about it. So aside from the back door, I've been working on a couple other things. 
Um, I'll catch you up on those shortly. It's about five o'clock on Sunday, so I'm just getting ready to pack up. And um, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully I don't have paint on my face because I've been out here for like eight hours and I have no idea what I look like. Hey friends. So it's Sunday, March 13th today. Um, I started the day off early at the walk-in clinic getting um, something checked out that I've been dealing with for a little bit. Not a big issue. It's just a, I've had a bump on my elbow um, from a fall like over 10 years ago. Um, doesn't bug me. It's not bothering me. It's not an issue. Um, I got it checked out. They did a ultrasound, then a biopsy, and then an MRI um, to make sure that there's nothing sinister going on in there. And it's basically just a um, benign tumor around a tendon uh, slash nerve in my elbow from a fall. Um, <clears throat> not a big deal. Doctor says, if it's not bugging you, don't worry too much about it. Gave me all my records of the tests that they ran just in case I end up somewhere not here at the end of this trip um, and want to get it removed. But if it's not bugging me, he says, don't worry. Don't worry about it. There's nothing, nothing evil going on. So that's good to know. That's good news. Um, yeah, today it's a few small little projects in the trailer and outside of the trailer. Um, so I'll turn the camera around and show you what I'm going to try and get done today. So in here, this is the dinette area. Um, these are all the cushions and stuff stacked up on the table. But this isn't going to end up being my bed more than a dinette. So with the cushions down, you'll notice that there's this big storage hole here. Well, I don't really want to be sticking my head in there at night. So <clears throat> I'm going to build a door. Um, probably hinged that will just cover that hole up and then make it uh, into a headboard which entails providing some of this foam this used to be the uh, just the cushion that was in the top bunk that I took out so providing I can get a decent piece the right size of this which shouldn't be a problem I'm going to uh, tack this to the board that covers that hole and then um, get some fabric and uh, upholster it. So I have like a nice little padded headboard over top of this hole, which will still be used for certain storage of some things. Um, that's the first project. Second project is replacing the wood in this door. So as you'll see down here, this is a storage door for my batteries. They're still not hooked up yet. Um, it's got the tin on it and the rails that go around. Uh, so you'll notice that the bottom rail is no longer attached because it's rotted out. So we're going to take this door off, replace this wood under here, drill a hole for the handle, reattach these rails, put it back in. So you may have noticed the tanks on the inside the new ones and I'll show you why I had to get two new tanks because these are extremely old check out this date I don't know if you'll be able to see it with this camera 1973 November the other one yeah I can't find a date on the other one these two tanks are going into the fire station drop-off disposal and the two new ones will be getting filled and purged before I take it in or purged and filled I should say um, before I take the trailer in to get everything tested so that they have some propane and pressure to test everything with this is where the happiness comes into play I'm sure Anybody that's played with or had or owned a vintage trailer has way more experience in this kind of stuff than me. But basically in this corner where I was uh, measuring to build a headboard, etc. I, I knew that there was some dry spots. Um, and 
to, to be fair, they are still dry, but it's dry rot. So poking around in this corner a little bit, it was a little bit too far gone for my liking. So I went about into uh, cleaning it out and patching it up. Um, granted, it's not going to last a million years, but it will do for the length of time I think I'll need it for. And I just got to put uh, some paneling over top to make it pretty. So right here, I just poked in through here and it was a little too soft for my liking. So I've uh, put in new wood pretty good. I'm probably going to brace it with a couple of screws. There's screws that go into this window, back into this piece here too. To make it tight and then I'll probably double seal the double check the seal on the window um, it's pretty good on the outside so um, we haven't had a lot of uh, wet wetness lately no rain or anything yet but the uh, we did have like a good good dump of snow on the roof so that's been melting off the last little while and none of this in here was actually wet or damp so it's just dry rot and I cut out the, the weak spots. This is all good and, and uh, heavy. There's going to be other spots like in here. I know it's a little little soft, but I can live with that for now. We'll see uh, how it goes later on. Um, I'm going to uh, see what I got left for paneling and just put a strip down there and a strip across. Maybe a piece of trim. Put the window trim back on. Um, might even give it a coat of paint. So that it kind of matches but i'm not too 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 crazy worried about it this is all nice and hard still yeah we'll be all right so there's a little update and i'll uh i think i'm going to see about the trim and then if i can cut the trim i'm probably not going to paint it today i'm going to get that door done outside so that's priority um, i do have the uh, foam cut and the Piece of wood cut for it so that will be added soon too just a little update as i'm tearing up this old carpet which was throughout the whole thing so i totally expected this but the underlay is stuck to the floor so i'm just going along with the scraper and scraping that up but the bright side is there's no surprises this is nice and sturdy there's no rot down here floor's in good shape i figured it was before i did check it out before i bought it but it's always nice to not have any surprises well it was a pretty productive day for the 13th of march nice warm sunday what did i get done today so the door outside that is actually the outside access door for the batteries is got new wood in it um, the tin's been stapled back on, the frame around it's been screwed back on, um, the door itself, the latch, etc. is already attached. Um, the headboard area where I'm going to put a padded piece over that hole, um, basically it looks like this. So I have the piece of wood and the foam. This uh, inside foam here. I just need to figure out what kind of cloth, um, and then I'll uh, basically upholster it, staple it on the back, maybe tuft it on the front with some screws. Nothing fancy. Um, I've patched this area as best as I'm going to get. Um, I'm reusing this, so once the window frames back on, etc., etc., I'm going to screw that in there. Not perfect, but I'm reusing stuff that I'm taking out, and that's about it. Uh, the floor is pretty much ready. I might get some adhesive so that I can actually put some carpet on that wheel well. Um, yeah, it's still a mess, but it's coming. Hey, friends. I uh, don't know if you can see me or not, but I just came out after work into the trailer. Uh, I've been painting a little bit. At one point, my semi-OCD kicked in. Um, there's a piece of paneling on this side over here 
that uh, the wood behind it, the framing is still strong, but the paneling was had somehow got wet. Could have even been condensation at one point, but it was like separating. Um, and I could poke it and it was kind of floppy and it just kind of bugged me. So I've decided that uh, since I'm in here painting and patching anyways, um, I've done a little bit more. Um, it's not going to win any home builder awards, that's for sure. Um, but for a 1971 trailer that I just need somewhere to keep dry and warm, it will work fine. Um, and this is going to be my bed anyway, so there's going to be some cushions and stuff to make it comfy and homey. So you're not even going to see any of these small things once they're painted and um, the frame around the windows back on, etc., etc. So I'm just patching there. And then obviously there's a piece of wood here and there's one there. You can almost not even see that it ends right there. Um, once everything gets painted so that it's even, this whole little area will eventually be my bed. Um, it is the dinette also. The brackets go back on there. Um, the table sits up. Um, once in a while I might use it as that, but chances are I'm just going to eat at my desk and this will be sleeping slash chilling area. I gave my 30 days notice at work yesterday. Um, that was a little weird. It's I've been there almost five years, but you know what? It's time, and um, I, I got to jump. I got to jump soon, or I'm going to go nuts. So, the countdown is on. Hopefully, you're getting something of value out of these videos. I'm not really sure, you know, what it might be. If anything, don't be afraid to just get in and get your hands dirty and, you know, learn as you go. That's all I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm learning slowly. Hello again. It's Saturday the 19th of March and um, the trailer is going into the shop today. Uh, they're not going to start looking at it until Monday. My appointment's for Monday, but the guy said I could bring it in Saturday if I wanted. So I'm, I've raced to clean it up and get it ready so they can go through and do what they need to do. Um, but I thought I'd uh, give you a little update and just a little show of where I'm at so far and go from there. Um, it's starting to look like a place I could spend some time in. And you can actually move on the floor. Um, yeah, there's still little things, uh, mostly cosmetic, um, after we get uh, everything tested and checked and the, the appliance is working, etc. Um, but that's above my head at this point. So I'm taking it in for the professionals to handle. And from there, once that's done, then it basically just be making it uh, functional and homey. And uh, then I got to uh, get a solar kit, the panels and the charge controller, and hook them into the electrical system that will be fixed by then, because right now it's a mess. So that's why I'm taking it in. Um, aside from that, I'll give you a little quick tour, because I got to go and get in before they close. They close early today. It's about... Uh, almost 2.30 and they close at 4, so I gotta hook this thing up and drag it over there. All right, um, here's a little tour and we'll go from there. Okay, cheers. Now when I say little tour, I mean little tour. That's the bed area. I do have my padded headboard to cover that hole at the end there. Um, that's in my room right now, but I'll just leave it down there because I don't need it for these guys that I'm taking it into, so. So there's the kitchen. So I'm getting the Propane for the stove tested. Uh, there's the furnace down there. So that will be tested. Hopefully everything will work. Um, and then of course this gas electric fridge. Um, I don't know if it works or not. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. And then from there, it's the electrical stuff. Um, lights. I know I have an outlet over here, but I don't know, you know if it works or not. I fix these lights up. I don't know if you can see this or not. And I've got some LED bulbs for those to save on some power. There's another one down there. And then there's another one over there. Up in there. So I just took them off, painted them, cleaned them up. They were that ugly brass. It's kind of like these handles here. 
full brass but yeah so ready to go there's the first kind of actual look at my floor that I put in and then of course I mentioned carpet before this gray carpet here is going to cover this area underneath the bed and I might even wrangle something and maybe go along there to make it kind of more like a couch I don't know yet well there's your update I got to get this thing into the shop um, still have to hook it up to the truck and you know get on the road um, thankfully it's not too far away but uh, I'll keep you posted when I know more cheers so yeah there you go you're all up to date and you know what I know um, when I hear back from the RV place I'll definitely let you know what the verdict is hopefully nothing needs to be replaced um, that's too expensive and we'll go from there all right cheers It's like working with a monkey.